China just launched one of the most successful IPOs in its history. And when you see these numbers, you won't believe how rapidly this new Chinese company is positioning itself to directly challenge NVIDIA, America's most critical tech giant in the global semiconductor industry. Now I know that sounds like a bold claim. How could any startup possibly take on NVIDIA, the pioneer of modern AI chips with a market capitalization exceeding $4.3 trillion? Well, what if I told you that the CEO of More Threads, the Chinese GPU company that just went public this week, is James Zhang, a former NVIDIA vice president who spent 14 years building NVIDIA's entire operations in China? James isn't just another Chinese executive. He started his career in 1995 at Hewlett Packard and Dell before joining NVIDIA in 2005, where he became one of the key architects behind the company's explosive growth across mainland China. He knows NVIDIA's technology, supply chain strategies, and business model inside and out. And now he's using that expertise to help China build its own version of NVIDIA right in Beijing. That's why the Moore Threads IPO became a national event. It was oversubscribed by an unbelievable 4,126 times, with total bids reaching $4.5 trillion, more than NVIDIA's entire market cap. That tells you everything about how bullish Chinese investors are on domestic technology and how intense the U.S.-China tech rivalry has become. So, in today's deep dive, I'm going to break down exactly what happened in this historic IPO, who's behind China's newest microchip champion, how Beijing plans to challenge NVIDIA's dominance, and what all of this means for the future of the US-China tech war. China's Silicon Surprise Let's start with a recent article from The Economist titled, China's Chip Industry Will Surprise the World. Published just last month, it provides a clear picture of what China is about to accomplish in 2026. The surprises will come not from code, but from silicon, the article states. Chinese firms will push ahead in two areas long, thought beyond their reach, designing and manufacturing powerful AI chips. For anyone who still thinks China can't innovate, we only need to look back to January 2025, when a little-known Chinese startup called DeepSeek shocked the entire world by launching an AI model that rivaled America's open AI, built with a fraction of the budget and, most importantly, without access to NVIDIA's most advanced chips. DeepSeek proved China could innovate around U.S. sanctions. More importantly, it demonstrated China could accomplish more with less. And that same momentum is now flowing directly into China's chip industry, including companies like More Threads. But here's where the story takes an even more dramatic turn. Last month, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang spoke at a private event in Taiwan and bluntly explained why U.S. export controls have completely backfired. These export controls are the dumbest thing we've ever done, Huang said. You've just given them the best national mobilization mission in 50 years. It's like the Sputnik moment on steroids. Washington thinks they're stopping China. They're not stopping China. They're accelerating China. By 2027, China will have more AI compute capacity than the rest of the world combined. Mark my words. This is a stunning admission from the CEO of NVIDIA a company whose entire future depends on America dominating the global AI chip market. And you know, this theme keeps repeating. Under both the Biden and Trump administrations, every attempt to slow China's technological rise has produced the opposite effect. China is innovating faster than at any point in its modern history, which brings us directly to more threads. This IPO didn't happen in isolation. It's part of a massive national mobilization to build China's own NVIDIA and break America's stranglehold on the global semiconductor supply chain. Even Gina Raimondo, Joe Biden's former Secretary of Commerce, has now publicly admitted that U.S. sanctions failed. Look at what she said recently at Harvard China has a massively effective industrial policy. It's amazing. It's stunning. I mean, anyone who's been in a BYD car, it's a gorgeous car. Works really well. Beautiful thing. Look at Huawei. Incredible. 
People in the government two administrations ago thought they were going to hobble Huawei. They came back stronger than ever, making incredible chips. Pretty remarkable, right? She's admitting sanctions didn't work while acting as if she had nothing to do with implementing them. But I kept receipts. Here's what Raimondo said back in 2022. And this is still published on the U.S. government's official website. We will continue to take action to protect our advantage and maintain as large a lead as possible in these foundational technologies. We released a set of rules that impose systematic and technology-specific export controls to limit China's ability to purchase and manufacture certain very advanced computing chips used to train large-scale artificial intelligence models. These new rules are strategically targeted and designed to protect our national security. But now, as we look toward 2026, China's AI industry is exploding, and more threads is about to make history. So let's dive into why this IPO sent shockwaves across the entire global tech industry. Most people outside of China had never heard of more threads until this IPO went viral. But inside China, this company represents something far bigger than a startup. It represents China's shot at building its own NVIDIA, powered by a man who knows NVIDIA inside and out. More Threads was founded in 2020 by James Zhang, a former NVIDIA vice president who spent 14 years building NVIDIA's presence in mainland China. And from day one, his mission wasn't just to build a chip company, the mission was to build an entire GPU ecosystem, everything from hardware to developer tools to AI training frameworks, all inside China. Now to understand this, you need to know one crucial thing. NVIDIA's true power isn't just its powerful GPUs. It's something called CUDA. Don't worry if you've never heard of it. CUDA is essentially the operating system and software layer that allows AI engineers to train models, run simulations, build video games, and process massive amounts of data. CUDA is like NVIDIA's secret language. And for 15 years, it's been the foundation of the entire global AI industry. Every major AI lab uses it. Every developer depends on it. And without CUDA, NVIDIA's GPUs wouldn't dominate the world. But More Threads has successfully built their own version of CUDA. It's called Musa, and it's designed to be compatible with NVIDIA's ecosystem. That means Chinese developers can now build and train advanced AI models on More Threads hardware using tools that work almost identically to NVIDIA's setup. This is something experts said would take a decade or more to recreate but more threads accomplished it in just a few years. So the secret weapon behind more threads is, once again, CEO James Zhang and his reputation as NVIDIA's man on the ground in China for so many years. When he left NVIDIA to start his own company, his pedigree and reputation, you know, really attracted top engineering talent from NVIDIA, AMD, and some of China's leading tech platforms. Because of Zhang's impressive track record, more threads received enormous investment from some of China's biggest tech companies, including ByteDance, Tencent, and Sequoia China. When these companies invest at this scale, it basically means they see more threads as a pillar of China's long-term AI future. While companies like NVIDIA and AMD typically release a major GPU architecture every two to three years, more Threads has released four generations in just four years. A speed of innovation that's honestly almost unheard of in the microchip industry. Their latest architecture, launched in 2024, is actually capable of training trillion parameter AI models. That puts More Threads right into the realm of high end computing and makes it a key domestic supplier for companies like DeepSeek, which are training frontier scale models inside China. But most importantly, More Threads is building what China needs most today GPUs for cloud computing, gaming, enterprise AI, and data centers. And, you know, those are exactly the areas where NVIDIA built the foundation of its global empire. Now let's talk about the IPO, because this is where the story becomes completely unbelievable. More Threads received regulatory approval for its IPO in just 90 days.
one of the fastest approvals in the history of the Shanghai Stock Exchange. That signals how strategically important Beijing views domestic GPU development. But the real shock came when the subscription window opened. The IPO was oversubscribed by 4,126 times, drawing bids totaling 33 trillion yuan, equivalent to 4.5 trillion US dollars. That's more than NVIDIA's entire market capitalization. In the West, we constantly hear narratives that China's economy is collapsing and there's no future in its markets. But the reality is far more complicated. Certain strategic industries in China aren't slowing down at all. In fact, they're booming. Beijing sees computing power as the fuel source of the next industrial revolution, the key to AI breakthroughs, national security, cloud infrastructure, and the future of robotics. That's why state-owned giants like China Telecom and private companies like Meituan all piled into the Moore Threads IPO. When China's government and its biggest tech companies invest side by side, that's not just market excitement. It's a clear signal of China's long-term national strategy. The scale is absolutely stunning. More threads raised 8 billion yuan, about 1.12 billion US dollars, at a valuation of 17.5 billion dollars on day one. Most chip startups would dream of hitting a billion dollar valuation after a decade. More threads hit 17 times that overnight. And remember, this company has accomplished all of this under U.S. sanctions. After being placed on the U.S. entity list in 2023, more threads could have crumbled. Instead, they doubled down, restructured, streamlined operations, and, according to internal communications, declared that nothing will compromise our resolve to build world-class GPUs. Two years later, domestic AI demand exploded, and the company came back even stronger. If you remember one thing from today's analysis, I want it to be this, because it captures exactly why this IPO matters so much to China. More Threads isn't trying to beat NVIDIA. NVIDIA will continue to be an incredible American tech company, shaping the future of global AI. But More Threads is building something different. A world where China doesn't need NVIDIA at all. And that's exactly why Jensen Huang is concerned. He knows China is one of the most valuable AI chip markets on the planet, and he watched NVIDIA go from 95% market share in China to essentially zero after export controls. Jensen understands that companies like More Threads are rising specifically to fill that vacuum to build a completely self-reliant domestic ecosystem that can power every part of China's future technology stack. If I've proven one thing in today's analysis, it's that the global technology race between the United States and China has accelerated faster than almost anyone expected. Microchips will remain the most precious resource for every nation but the tech race is shifting into new areas of competition, especially in AI, automation, and a field you might not have considered before, humanoid robots. Both the US and China see humanoid robots as the next major platform shift, capable of transforming manufacturing, defense, logistics, and the future of work itself. What we're witnessing right now is the beginning of one of the most significant technological transitions of our lifetime. The global landscape is shifting rapidly. China isn't just building chips and cutting prices. It's constructing an entirely new technological reality where American dominance is no longer guaranteed, and where Chinese innovation is accelerating beyond what most Western observers thought possible. The question isn't whether this competition will intensify. It's whether the West is prepared for just how fast China is moving. And right now, the evidence suggests we're only beginning to understand the scale of what's unfolding.